What's up guys, the Bobcat here, and welcome back to Dungeon of the Ed Endless, February version, or edition I should say. Last time we started our party with Mormish and Gok, two very slow individuals, so the first one was kind of a pain, however, we uh, did pick up Scrog, who makes things a little bit easier, especially with his very fast speed. However, we are playing with the infirmary pod, so no one heals up at the end of the floors, and we have to heal everyone manually. Also, we... Uh, mostly get drugs instead of weapons and such so that's probably going to be a bit of a problem as well however we must continue on and hopefully not die hey a merchant wonderful what do you have to offer a nail gun we can give that to Marmish. and it costs dust as well which is really nice because dust is probably the resource I value the least especially at the end of the floor because towards the end of the floor I just power the rooms I've feel necessary and then give off the rest of the dust. Speaking of dust, enemies do drop it so picking it up is certainly a good idea. Move forward Gok, you can move back over here. Uh, Momish does use pistols doesn't he? He does. So we'll go give him the nail gun. However if we do, uh, we'll hold off actually on giving him the nail gun. Might give him the prisoner's uniform though later on. So you two can go and open this door. Well, I'm guessing that's the exit. It is indeed. And we get 10 dust from it as well. Let's power this room. We'll come down here. We'll buy that gun for Mormish Because it will help him out a lot. We'll even buy him a prison uniform. A bit more defence. He doesn't need any of those. Now then we just power up the room to the exit. My mouse is still acting funny. Then again, it's literally only been less than a minute since I uh, last recorded so getting this all done in one big session that way I don't get behind so you can have the speed device we'll put Gork in the room it's not going to really matter I doubt enemies are going to spawn up here we'll grab the core and we'll uh, get out of the floor and head on up the elevator make sure we bought everything that's defense that's a faster speed one. We'll get that, I think. More speed is certainly a good idea. Cost us a bit, but it doesn't matter. Those dust doesn't carry over to the next floor. Hmm. <coughs> Check the buttons. Is there a floor? Safe zone full of hot chicks. <laughs> oh, Mormish. Right then, floor four. Only nine more to go. Let's head down. And what do we have? Dust and a monster. Kind of what I expected, to be honest, but... You know. Let's get our food module going immediately. Uh, we do need the food the most. Food is the most important thing for us. Uh, we need to make sure you don't have a speed module on anymore. We have a better speed module anyway, so we'll get rid of you. Uh, I'm sit for next floor. Okay, so if anything's down here, we lose it, apparently. Good to know. I swear that wasn't like that last time, though. Or maybe it was. Well, this is the uh, weaker speed, and that is the quicker speed. In fact, that's speed for defense, and that's speed for attack. However, I doubt our, cow our core carrier is going to be getting attacked, so... Uh, ooh, that's very nice. Plus 50% everything for the next few turns. Want to find another... Well, speak of the devil. I was going to say I want to find another major module. And we have a person here. Is that the spear wielder? It is indeed. Alien interference can endanger retribution, understand? We'll buy it, we'll take him. There's no reason not to. Finally have a full party, which is quite nice. Uh, do we want to build a module in there? I actually don't think we do. Ah, we will. Let's get the whole party together. Our new person, we have seen him before. Uh, he's probably the weakest in the group at the moment. 
due to the fact that we just got him. However, here's another operator alongside Mormish, which is certainly a nice thing. So once we start getting those ready, or start that getting a operator, we can uh, certainly get some nice things. You need to stop doing that, my friend. There we go. I'm just imagining the later flaws are going to be quite horrific, especially with the monsters that explode. Well, another core piece. What is this thing? This one is plus four wit. Can operate. Here is in the floor. Can operate major modules. Here only needs at least one turn. So if we leave, say, Keegan behind. Not. Yeah, oh, it's Kreang. Kreang. If we leave him behind, because he is probably the weakest of us all. Can he operate that? He can. So we gain operate for three turns. Well, that's certainly nice. It's not particularly amazing, because he will get operate naturally anyway. But it's nice to have. So he will operate that and get us some more food. I'm gonna take a quick drink. Hmm? My chest with Grindisil. Is it grind or grind? It's an attack power module. Well, we know who's getting that. You have... Oh no, you already have one. Never mind. And I think I have a sneeze coming. Hang on. There we go. That sneeze has been dealt with. <laughs> Hopefully I won't have a follow-up one. Okay, what do we have here? Ooh, hmm, not sure what I want. Apparently this thing gives us dust. We didn't really use the shop last time, although the bioorganic transfer might be very useful. As we won't have to heal our people. Operating gives dust if merchant. So, we'll, we'll try this, we'll try this out. I'm not sure how that works, but from what I'm reading, I assume what it means is, if there's a merchant there, and... Oh, found the exit. Wonderful. If there's a merchant there, and we uh, and we operate it with someone who has op the ability to operate, then we actually get dust from it. At least that's what I'm assuming. Uh, monsters have unfortunately spawned in there. That is a big creature. Let's get more machine here to help out. In fact, he, he can even use his ability. I got some dust from that. We'll power up that room. Leave more mission there. You two can come this way. I believe operating has now ended. It has indeed. Come back up here. We'll give you some food. Again, food is the biggest thing for us at the moment. Got lots of industry, but we haven't really been building things yet. After all, we're only on floor four. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, it's her. Hmm. We'll probably leave her. Well, we can't take her anyway. It's nice to know she's here, though. Well, we don't exactly have a lot on this floor. I think we might just leave. I don't like leaving this quickly, though. As it feels like we could be doing a lot more. You know what? We'll stay for a bit longer. Could build the shop, actually. But no one has Operate yet, so it's pointless. Never mind. Let's get some prisoner prods going. Let's get some here. Uh, Nero stunt, seeing as a monster will be spawning in there. She will no, allow, no doubt die, unfortunately. But there's nothing we can do about that. And that's just how enemies work. Hey, merchant. Wonderful. What does he have? Used chitin or chitin. Um, it's good defense, but it's not particularly worthwhile. Dehydrated water. Uh, Brinslin and Wacklorex, I think. Uh, don't we already have that? 525, that's 1025. Well, why would we ever take that? Oh, because that's speed and that's defense, I see. Um, that's tempting. It got quicker. Hmm. I think the defense loss will be too extreme to uh, make it worthwhile, unfortunately. 
as defense is very important to negating damage. So I feel as though if we gave defense, we would suffer too much for it. The science module and more uh, dust, which is quite nice. We'll power up this room. We'll send him in there. And you two can go and open this door over here. And hope there's nothing really horrible behind it. Because if there is, we are in a bad situation. Because the core is right there. And what do we have? Dust and some monsters, but they appear to be prioritizing hitting us rather than attacking the core. So, I'm okay with that. Some creatures did spawn, however, Mormish should be capable to take care of them quite easily. Let's power up this room. A bit worried about the health situation. I think we unlocked a new pitcher. How nice. Let's keep going. I don't want to dawdle too much on these floors, but not exploring them is a much worse idea. We'll just build straight three prisoner pods in there. That will give you some health. You can activate your crazed killer. Oh, it's not crazed killer, it's psycho killer. I feel the attack is what's needed. Uh, oh, Mormish is getting hurt. Quite badly, in fact. How did that happen, exactly? Do you want to just run away? Oh, strange enemies must have run straight through. Well, we'll give you two some health. I want to make sure we keep our units nice and healthy. Let's get you back in there. And you two can keep opening doors. Let's put some prisoner prods in here. Defensive purposes, obviously. Uh, Gok, you need to come back in here. Okay, he's running to the car. You just... that. That way. That thing is the priority. Gok. Mormish. How does Mormish keep getting hurt? I don't understand. How is he... How are they just running past him? Let's build four prisoner prods in there. And get Mormish to run in there as well. Mormish keep chasing that thing. Wow, you're both incredibly slow. The slowest race of all time. Okay, you need to come back down here. Oh, never mind. Mormish finally killed it. I said, never mind, go back up there. Well, something up here, somehow they're spawning in this room. As far as I can tell. Is she dead in there, by the way? Oh, we can't power up that room. Well, whatever. You two keep going. Last door on the floor has been unlocked. Some dust. We'll retreat in here. Uh, well, Mish, you need to stay up there. Where's Gok? Why isn't Gok responding as well as the other ones? Uh, you activate your ability as well. We'll keep you healed. Now I'm a bit concerned. Okay, you need to come down here because that thing's gonna wail on the core. Oh, Mommish died. Well, that sucks. Uh, you are nearly dead as well. One reason why I really don't like Mormish, honestly. Well, he's dead. It is a shame, but not a huge loss. We'll have to retrieve his stuff. I think we need to level up our people some more. Well, we've locked everything on the floor, so let's go gather up Mormish's stuff. I just don't understand where the enemies were coming from. Were they spawning in the room he was stood in? I didn't think they could do that. Well, Mom, she's dead. That's unfortunate. We want the nail gun and the prisoner's uniform. Uh, you can wear the prisoner's uniform. I think the nail gun's a bit too important. Uh, what don't we need? Defense for speed, we'll put that down there. We'll take the nail gun. That's speed for tech power. That's speed again, but we already have a speed one. Okay, everything looks good. It is a pity about Mormish. We might end up losing this one. Which would be a shame, but we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully we can get another person. Uh, you can take the speed. It's the correct one, isn't it? Yep. Grab the coat. And leave. That sucks that we lost Mormish. 
but they really seem to be very durable anyway, so I suppose it's not a huge loss. It's only floor 4, so I think we'll be just fine. And claustrophobic. Mm, sorry in advance if I flip into a psychotic rage. <laughs> oh, these dialogues are hilarious. Alright then, we have unlocked Scrog, because we've gone three floors. Now then, let's hope we can uh, unlock someone else. Or find someone else. We'll give him two upgrades, because that winter ability of his is really good. Stops everything on the floor, or slows it down. We'll head right to start off with. Hopefully we'll find a new person. It is a shame about Mormish, but oh well. We need to make sure you don't have that on. The speed is nice, but... Is health is more important. Food replicator. Let's get that going immediately. As we need the food more than ever. And our production is still quite fine, so not too worried about that. Get a nice stock of production on the early floors. That way on the later floors we don't have to worry so much. Get an industry one going. And we keep moving on. Uh, a dust for production machine. Come on, nice things. 27 dust is nice indeed. We can build something here. Uh, we'll get a science one going, sure. We're not making much science. Science isn't too important for us. Did end of our looks of things? It is indeed. We'll retreat back into this room. Not that it's necessary, but... I prefer if we're fighting a big room over a small room. Um... And once health looks okay, it's not great, but it could be what worse. In here we have one of these, which is big speed boost. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now, do we head up or down? Let's head up. After all, last time I believe we did head down. Let's have a drink in the meantime. Hmm. Ah, pleasant. Now then, let's head up. Ooh, a nice room indeed. Self-powered and tin dust. Uh, let's just put some prisoner pods in here. And the neurostun. I really wouldn't mind getting that neurostun upgraded. It does 30%, which is certainly significant, but when it gets up to 50, it becomes a lot better. What's this? Um, here is in floor, zone damage, but attack mo- Oh, that's really good actually, I think. Damage heroes in room, plus 15%. I don't get it. Well, we'll figure it out as we go along, I suppose. If we all suddenly drop dead, I'll know why. Speaking of dropping dead, let's make sure everyone's still healed. Yeah, this food is going to become a big problem very quickly. Well, just got to persevere, unfortunately. In fact, it might be worth just getting a second food replicator going. Just more food. Let's get some prisoner prods in here. Help out with our party. We're going to need a lot of food to uh, maintain ourselves. So, two or three food replicators per floor might not be a bad idea at all. The production is going to be hurting, though. After all, that is a lot of production we'll be using. Well, just keep an eye on everyone's health and heal them up as the time goes by. Uh, and this one. Hoping we'll find the exit soon. Oh, we've got a research one. The tear gas would be very nice, but... Ooh, science. We'll go for tear gas. That tear gas is going to be a bit more useful than the... Uh, Sorry, the science is going to be a bit more useful than the tear gas. Overall, anyway, the tear gas is nothing to sneak at. What do we have in here? Is this a dead end? Oh, we've got a chest at least. What's it have in it? An arm 
Minna suit. I probably said that horribly wrong. No, it's Armenia. Okay, that was it. I knew I was reading that wrong. What's it do? Plus defense and max health. Uh, you. Oh, you can't wear that. God damn it. God damn your insectoid status. Well, who wants it? Who's got lower defenses? Probably a better idea. You have 25. You have 25. So regardless of who I give it to, uh, we'll give it to you since you have less health. Oh, you also gain the uh, aggro trait. Okay. That's very nice to see. Uh, Health-wise, everyone looks okay-ish. Let's open the bottom doors. Because apparently the bottom way is the correct way to go. Hope for some dust at least. That's a lot of creatures in there. We need Gork over there. Oh, you need to heal. Activate your freezing ability because things are getting through. Should have done that actually. We've got a Neurostun module there, so. However, that is a problem, so you need to get up there quickly. Didn't think it would just ignore us and go straight for the modules. Some prisoner prods in there to make sure that doesn't happen again. And he should be just fine. There we go. Took some damage. Let's make sure everyone's healed. Let's power up this room. And get everyone moving on. Hopefully we'll find another party member. Ooh. That's a... Uh, science machine, I'm guessing. Let's activate it. Plus food. I will gladly pay production for food. We can power up this room as well. Move on. Again, hoping to find another party member. Might not find one though for another couple of floors. Thankfully, our party is quite sustainable. Doesn't have a huge amount of health to it, to be fair, but it's not too bad. We did lose our module, unfortunately. But I kind of expected as much. We don't have a Neurostone in there, so. Not getting as much damage off. Let's go grab that uh, dust at least. Now that we've been not all that way. Hmm. Hmm. Let's head down. I'm kind of get. I'm getting a bit worried about our well-being. Let's put a neurostun, tear gas, prisoner prod, prisoner prod. Move you up there. We'll send him to this room to defend. This room with Gork and him in it should be okay, especially with the tear gas. Keep down everyone's health. Everyone looks okay. Uh, we'll try and avoid getting into combat with that. After all, that thing does damage to everything in the room as long as Tira's in it. So, as long as we stay out of that room, we're just fine. Now, this one has toxic fog. Not that's a problem, though. Apparently, toxic cloud is absolutely nothing. Which is good to know. Dead end or the way out? It is a very much dead end. Run away. Let's get back to the uh, more defensible room. Looks like Toxic Cloud slows our people down tremendously. And that is a lot of creatures incoming. We well, might be in a bit of a pickle. Let's make sure everyone uses their abilities. Um, that should be just fine there. There's a lot of stuff coming down though, so... Getting some people up there wouldn't be a terrible idea. That looks like our prisoner prods took care of it. In fact, we have research, so let's go and research some stuff. Probably should have been doing that a lot sooner. Uh, a land module? Uh, that's only defense for modules. A Tesla module, though. Yes, please. Tesla module is a very nice thing indeed. Uh, we'll get a Neurostone, Tear Gas, and three Prisoner Prods in here. Could also build a module, but I don't think we're going to. Um, make sure everyone's healed. Tell you what, we'll build another food replicator. It might not make its worth back, but we can at least try. We've got at least two doors, so that's something. Let's get you guys back to that room. Oh, apparently there was stuff in there. 
unless Gok walking through caused stuff to spawn. You are taking a lot of damage. So you have good defense. Well, let's get you a lot in here. Looks like we're unfortunately going to lose our core immediately. That actually hurts a lot. Because that's just production down the drain. Let's get people in here to defend. There we go. Yeah, losing that actually hurt. A fair amount as well. That's unfortunate. Do we rebuild it? It's 35. We can't afford it. Not at this rate. What else can we research? Yeah, take a food replicator 3. We'll leave him behind and take a fast person and a slow person. That is a scary room. Let's leave. Everyone leave, retreat. Uh, as soon as you can, go, of course. Let's get Neurostun and tear gas in there. I'm worried we're going to run out of production, honestly. Oh, Gok needs to heal. The only problem with Gok being so slow is that he doesn't move quickly. Let's get everyone in this room. They are running through. Oh, no, they're ignoring us. Oh, don't hit the core. Man, Gok is slow. You know what? Get rid of that damn thing. It's slowing you down too much. And we'll give it back to you when you get into this room. There. Now, shoot them. Oh. Not healing at the end of a floor really hurts. Or at the end of a root turn, I should say. Hurts a lot. I don't really want to open these next few doors. I think I'm just going to go, honestly. Oh, we haven't found the exit yet, so never mind. We have to open those doors. Uh, we do have more dust, though. So let's power up this room. There's a fair amount of modules in there as well. So Gork can stay there. And you two can head to this room where we will build prisoner prods and stun modules. And tear gas. Open that door. Dead end. Unfortunate. At least we've got to test the module. So that's not a huge loss. No enemy spawns, thankfully. Uh, you can open that door on your own. It's a long corridor. Hey, the exit at long last. The elusive way out. Uh, we'll depower that room. We'll leave that one powered, I suppose. There's no reason to. Um, I want to power these up. More so than anything else. Come on, mouse work. Thank you very much. Um, trying to find the best way to do this. We don't really need that room powered, nor that room. We are going to get monsters spawning over there. So let's get a Tesla module, Neurostun, tear gas, Neurostun, tear gas, prisoner prod, prisoner prod, and Tesla. That way, that that corridor is very well defended. Again, using up a lot of resources doing this, but I feel it's necessary. And we still have three, uh, three things left, so power up this room. Looks like I depowered more stuff than I needed to. So I don't want to be over here. Guess that doesn't work. Okay then, power up that room. And we'll keep one. In fact, before we do, we might as well not keep one because Keep him all, it's just a waste. Oops. There we go. Oh, last door in the dungeon. I expected as much, to be honest. No merchant by the looks of things. Okay, then. We might as well run to the exit. In fact, I was doing this. You can have that equipped. Speeds him up. Can we get the core and leave before the monsters attack it? You get that. Gok, please run to the exit, or waddle, as you do. Got the core, leave. Let's heal you up a bit as well. Mm, probably unnecessary for me to do that. Oh well, to the exit. Or along with Gok. Thankfully we do have Neurostuns in the way, so... 
they shouldn't be able to catch up too quickly. Everyone there? All three are there, let's leave. Well, we've hit 30 minutes as well. Four of us could do a, some great beach volleyball down here. Okay, thanks for keeping things in uh, context there, Gok. Let's get to the next floor and then we'll end the part, or episode as it is. So, I will have to end this episode here now. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the uh, February edition of our Dungeon of the Endless. And I'll see you all next time.